Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to drop all default constraints uh, in SQL Server database. Uh, let's open SSMS, uh, and I'm interested uh, to drop the co default constraints uh, in uh, Tech Brothers IT database. Uh, let's uh, expand that. Uh, let's click on uh, Tables tab, uh, and now we have different uh, uh, tables here. And uh, I have created uh, some default constraint on some columns uh, on uh, different uh, tables. Uh, uh, now, first of all, we need to find uh, the default constraints uh, in the database. Uh, so we can use the system views uh, and the system tables to find that information. And then we will generate uh, the drop constraint scripts uh, from those uh, uh, fields such as this by using schema, table, and uh, constraint names. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. Here, I'm on techbrothersit.com. I'm on uh, SQL Server T SQL tab, uh, and then further you can uh, go to the chapter six, uh, and uh, here we have subheading uh, called uh, default constraint, uh, and uh, how to drop all default constraints in SQL Server. That's the uh, post number five here. Click here and copy the query. So let's copy this query and uh, bring to the SSMS uh, new query, paste it here. Now you see that uh, I am using a different. Uh, I don't need this part. I, I if uh, you want to use your different database name, you can always uh, use it here. Say use database name, so it will change uh, the scope of this query window to your database. Um, in my case, uh, I'm using Tech Brothers, so I will be using Tech Brothers IT. That's fine. So it is already here. If I will have a different database uh, for my query, let's say your database name, and by running this query, it will change the scope uh, to that database. Uh, so if I run this one, now see it is chained to the Tech Brothers. Uh, now I have select query in which I'm using different uh, system views. Uh, I'm using a uh, sys dot default constraints view, and then I'm using sys dot uh, columns and sys dot tables. Uh, why I'm using that one? Uh, so I can give you information uh, such as a uh, database name, schema name, table name, and this is a c dot column name. So this uh, name uh, column is coming from our sys dot uh, columns uh, table uh, view and then a d dot name that means this name is coming from our default constraints view and the definition is also coming from the same view so this is the alias i have d for default constraints i have c for sys dot columns and i have a t for sys dot tables so i don't have to use the entire name of the table here with the column as the columns are the same in multiple views so you see that name column is also present here and name column is also present here so if i will not use this alias i have to use the complete name of the table with each of the column okay now that's all good but we don't need these columns and everything but this really does help to see the information and uh, this is the part uh, where we are building our drop constraint query. We say an alter table schema name dot uh, table name. So you see that uh, here. This is uh, I have a schema name function and I'm using a schema ID from uh, T dot. Uh, so it means we are getting uh, the schema ID from uh, uh, sys dot tables. And then when we pass to the function schema name, we get the schema name. I'm adding uh, the parentheses around in case we have uh, the space in the schema name or table names. And uh, then uh, here is my table name and I'm saying drop constraint uh, and uh, we have to provide the name of the constraints. Uh, so D dot name. So that uh, means it is coming from uh, sys dot uh, default uh, constraints. Uh, that's D and the uh, name is uh, the constraint name. Now, if I go ahead and run this one, uh, this is what it will generate. Uh, it will tell me on which database I'm running this query it will tell me which schema my tables belong, which, uh, uh, what are the tables, what are the column names, and what are the default constraints, and what definition or value is present for these uh, default constraints. Now, the last column is uh, uh, drop constraint query. So we can copy this and run it. By taking a look or having these columns, this really does help if you want to ignore some tables. Let's say I don't want to include this table anymore. I just want to drop the constraint for these uh, um, tables. So if I don't want to include this uh, TBL customer, I can write it here where uh, t.name not equal to and I can provide in the quotes. So now, sorry, 
not equal to I don't have to equal sign and I can rerun my query now you see that uh, that table is in order so you can uh, use this uh, um, query to generate uh, drop uh, scripts for the default constraints and uh, if you need to ignore uh, some tables and uh, or constraints you can always use a filter where and uh, not equal to uh, now let's go ahead and copy these so we can click here sorry click here copy and open new window and I will paste it this will alter table table name and then drop constraint and constraint name so this is going to drop our default constraint so let's run this one now we run we ran the query and uh, it executed successfully let's go back and rerun this query now we should get only actually we should not get any result because uh, these uh, constraints are dropped and the system views will not return us anything so if I run this one we do not see those constraints so this is the way quick way you can create the drop constraint definition uh, uh, or sorry you can create the drop constraint scripts uh, otherwise uh, if you have a single um, table or column on which uh, you want to drop the constraint you can always use the alter table and schema name table name then say drop constraint and constraint name so thanks very much for watching this video and I hope uh, this will help you and save you some time